What's up guys, Joe from the Unbelievable Techers, and for the first time ever, I've got one of my clan members with me. I've got Jack. Hello Jack. Alright. And today me and Jack are going to be bringing up a topic of the games that are coming out this year. So, first of all, Jack, what games are you excited for uh, that are coming out this year? Um, probably FIFA 12 will probably be my most definitely best game that I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm also looking forward to Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, uh, Gears of War 3 is pretty, pretty good as well, and the new FIFA Street coming out at the start of next year. Yeah, well, me not being much of a FIFA fan, first we'll go to Battlefield. So what are you most excited for in Battlefield? Uh, I think the aspect of being able to like have air warfare as well, like flying jets and all of those kind of stuff. Uh, like, it's quite exciting. Yeah, uh, I was watching a Battlefield 3 video the other day, and one of the comments was, in Modern Warfare 3, you can call in airstrikes, and in Battlefield 3, you are the airstrikes. Obviously, now you can be the jets, and, you know, it does look fun, doesn't it? It looks yeah. like it could possibly reach the game of the year. And, no, I think uh, it definitely overtake Modern Warfare 3 this year. Yeah, and it's in a alpha mode at the moment, and it's already, what was it, like 40? E3 awards or was it 80? It was something big, like something really big, and it won a lot of awards in alpha mode. Uh, so Modern Warfare 3, set two hours after Modern Warfare 2. Do what? What are your opinion on that? Is that a good thing to do? Um, just it looks like another Modern Warfare. Do you know what I mean? It looks the same. Well, as it, it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and uh, but I think the survival kind of mode that they've introduced instead of like the supplement for like zombies by Treyarch looks pretty good. Yeah. That could be exciting. Yeah. Well, the only thing, I, I th personally I think that survival mode, you know, zo I don't think anything they introduce will beat zombies because I'm a very big zombie fan. Um, but the only disadvantage is we found out that it's actually two player only, so you can't actually have up to four people. Yeah. So, I don't know whether that will be a good thing. I mean, I will obviously play it, but I know, you know, co-op mode's yeah. obviously better with a lot of people. Um, and going back to the topic we just brought up, Battlefield is also going to have a cooperative single player. Um, and the single player storyline when you play it in co-op is going to be a bit different to the one when you're actually playing single player. So if you actually play the co-op version before the single player, it's not actually going to ruin your experience. And there's also going to be a co-op in Gears of War 3 as well. Um, so, are you going to get Gears of War 3 on the release date, or are you just going to um, plan on get it later in the year? I'm not going to pre-order it. I'm probably going to get it around the week. Maybe it comes out or something like that. Uh, I didn't have the beta for it. I'm just going on what other people are saying and a few videos I've seen online. Uh, it looks pretty good, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've said this quite a few times when we've been talking, but it's actually quite hard to be a Gears of War fan, as, like, the last Gears of War came out in, what, 2008, 2009? And obviously, if you didn't buy it, like, then, and obviously it's got really glitchy now, and there's quite a few hacks on it, and, you know, stuff like that, it's actually quite hard to be a Gears fan. That's why, that's why they made the mistake, and the Gears of War 3 beta should have been open, because obviously then more people could have experienced it and, you know, it would have been... Yeah. More people could have probably bought it. Um, I think the, the the fact that they kind of, like, release the beta to, like, more Gears of War fans, they don't get as much wider feedback, so... Yeah. You know, more non-Gears of War fans could have, like, commented and that would have, like, made the game a bit more universal to, like, other players as well. Yeah, so I mean... Feedback. I think that the biggest mistake a game company could make is making the beta open to people who have pre-ordered a game. Like, the Battlefield 3 beta yeah. is open to people who pre-ordered Medal of Honor when it came out last year. And obviously, um, the Gears of War beta was only open to the people who'd either pre-ordered it or pre-ordered Bulletstorm Epic Edition. Um, so, going to the final game that we're all excited for is FIFA 12. So, what are you most excited for in FIFA 12, Jack? <coughs> I just think the fact that they've like updated kind of like the shooting, uh, there's more acrobatic kind of shooting, a uh, whole different aspect to the game, like they've kind of like put down like more of the heading kind of goals and put more volleys in and it's just going to be 
all a bit more exciting and uh, players are going to have a bit more flair when they're playing on the pitch and uh, yeah I'm also quite looking forward to tactical defending on it as well yeah because, uh, quite hard well, to defend I've never really in my life been a big FIFA fan but I the two things that I'm really excited for uh, one of them's just like a patch, but the other one's the uh, new engine. You know the what? What? Yeah. The, you know the engine where player. I can't remember what it's called. You know where like if two people slide, you know people can get like really badly injured. Oh, you player, get, player impact. Yeah, engine. player yeah, impact like engine. Injuries. And uh, another yeah. thing, on FIFA, my favourite bit about it is probably playing pro clubs with all of the unbelievable techers. Yeah. And, you know, apparently that's going to be patched in FIFA 12 because you can get really bad lag if it was experienced. So, for that to be patched and to no one get lag anymore, it'll be absolutely brilliant. But obviously, it might not happen. It could still be a little bit faulty. But, you know, it'll be good to have a nice game, you know, without anyone having to back out because of the lag. Because you've yeah, had to back I, out quite I, a few, yeah, haven't you? I don't, I don't have the best of connections. Yeah. So anyway, guys. Um, so that's basically the end of the match and the end of the commentary. Um, if you'd like any more of these, it doesn't have to be with Jack. It could be with any of the other unbelievable techers, mostly <laughs> Sam, not Harrison. <laughs> um, so if you've got any more suggestions of videos, please leave your comments below. Please rate this video, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And that's a goodbye from me, Jack. Uh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you soon.